My name is Rich Daniel. I'm the owner of the DC Divas women's football team. The Divas started in 2001. They were one of the original 10 teams in the National Women's Football League, the NWFL. And then there was a certain league called the NFL that had a little bit of an issue with that trade, you know, the name of the league. So it became the NWFA after a couple years. And we were in the NWFA for a number of years, won our first championship in 2006. And then like many things in our world, leagues have changed, names have changed. We have remained consistent as the DC Divas since 2001. And we're in the Women's Football Alliance, the WFA, the largest tackle football league in the world. And we've been there, won our championships in 15 and 16 as part of that alliance. Someone asked me how would I like to hit someone between three and four seconds as hard as I could and not go to jail for it. And I said, sign me up. <laughs> uh, that and um, just, I, I saw some film on the Divas and at the time, Okima Pickett and Kenyatta Grigsby were the fullback, tailback combination. And I was like, wow, how can I do that? It's helped my confidence in, in multiple ways. As a mother, uh, I have to show that no matter what your what obstacles you're against, power through it, work through it, and don't give up. Um, as a woman, it made me feel like a badass, unstoppable. Um, there's a different aura that I have when I put on my divas gear. Like my I, my chest is puffed up a little bit more, my shoulders are back, um, and I walk walk with uh, my logo with pride. Um, as a fiance, soon to be wife, um, iron sharpens iron. You know, my fiance is my biggest supporter, and I carry him on the field with me. So my strength and knowing that I have that power on the field as a mother and as a woman, I mean, it just comes full circle. And I can say this one thing: football saved my life. Uh, I was in a very, very dark place with my two sons and becoming a single mother, and I didn't want substance abuse to turn into what I poured myself into. So I poured myself into the gym, which translated pouring myself into football. So if you find yourself in a deep, dark place and you need something to pull you out of that, find a team, find a bunch of women that you can bond with and go hit somebody while you're doing it. <laughs> if you notice, I'm not trying to pull a stick all the way back. It's on purpose. I can tell you, and Coach Brian will tell you, and Coach K will tell you, we don't want you to go when it's here, okay? As soon as that ball moves, you're gone. As soon as a lineman moves, you hit, okay? All right, let's go. Let's go. Ready, set. Get down. Go. My boyfriend broke up with me and I just wanted to do something completely different from what everyone is doing in Germany and in this moment when I had to start a bus was driving by with a commercial about American football it's like maybe that's a sign so I googled it and apparently in the city they had a team and I got on the same day to a tryout and they wanted me as a defense line so it's been a sick with it. Football is a sport for every size 
for every weight, it does not matter if you be athletic or not. When you come out here, everyone gives you the feeling that you are important. Everyone have a part and just this alone is amazing. And then when you get out there, when you found the right position for you and get the amazing coaching what you get here with the Divas, it is you have one tackle after the other one, you have a great block and your whole team is cheering for you. And over the time you just learn that you are someone and you are important and that is just amazing. Get that pitch, that first step in. Yep, all the way around. Because okay. you want to bring them back this way. Got it. It's like, it's like guess what? You're taking a hook and you're hooking them and bringing them back this way. There you go. All right. So ideally, it should look something like this. Um, you want to reach me? And, all right. And I'm putting my body between the defender and go, where the ball is going. Go, go this way first. Right. This is the way they're stepping. All right. Um, yeah. See that? That's where the reach goes. All right. Let's go. Once you make contact, make sure you're still staying low. We have a bad habit of standing up as soon as we make contact. Yes, oh, you shouldn't be on top of the cone. Stay low, that's going to help us continue to drive. You shouldn't be on top of the cone. No, you're reaching around this cone. You should be around this cone and bring it back again. Yeah, I'm going to say it when we get set. Correct. It yeah. should be on the outside of the cone. Yes, correct. All right, let's go. Sure thing. Uh, my name is Jocelyn Williams, JJ for short. Um, I play O-lineman, center, guard, all that good stuff. At first, um, I just saw it as like a cool thing to do, but uh, I think once I got into it, I realized like it was kind of therapeutic to me. Just kind of being out here, fellowshipping, playing the game, like just kind of making it, you know, pushing it forward, kind of like being like a pioneer for the game, women's sport. Um, well, it surely has uh, taught me the basic lesson of just being able to take a hit. Um, you know, the, the only way to get better is, to, in my opinion, to fall down, and then you got to get back up. So, um, you know, coming with football, like, it's the physical aspect, it's the mental toughness, but it's that tenacity and that will to just want to get back up after you fall. I think a central theme that I've learned from the players is, is that we all are capable of more than we think at any given moment in our life. No matter what our challenges are, no matter what our job is, what our family circumstances, no matter what the world is doing around us, they keep reinforcing in me that we're all capable of more than we think at any given moment. And that should bolster you. That should help you in tough times to know that even if I don't have all the answers, I have a family I can reach out to, I have a support system, I have people that maybe have gone through it before, I have people that will help me find a better job or maybe a better living situation. I have people that are looking out for me, not just about how I play on the field, but the type of person I am in order to be able to do this, the type of person I have to be to be a DC Diva, and the qualities that go with that, that's what resonates back to me as we're all capable of more. I would say, regardless of your experience level, whether you've watched football prior to playing or wanting to play, I would just say, just do it. Just literally just get out there, be active, put forth the effort. Um, it'll change your life, it really will. Like, not just from an athletic standpoint, but from a mental, like you're, you have mental clarity out here, I can get out whatever frustrations I have legally. Um, <laughs> it's, I would say literally just do it. Don't be afraid of anything, because once you get that first head crack, I'm telling you, it's, I don't know, it's just golden. Like. Yeah, just do it, seriously. Don't ever let anyone tell you no. Just keep doing it. Like, there's gonna be naysayers, there's gonna be obstacles, there's gonna be mountains and all that stuff, but just keep on pushing, don't stop. Go ahead and be yourself. Be unique and do those things that you wanna do. Aim high and hopefully you'll reach your goals if you stick to it. Nobody crosses this line of swimming. That's why we're here, we're bodyguards. Let's Hold go. On. And you guys saw this.
anybody say, because you're a mother, you shouldn't be playing. Because you're a woman, you shouldn't be playing. Because you work a full-time job, you shouldn't be playing. Do everything for you. Be selfish, work hard, be dedicated, and whoever doesn't want to support you, leave them back there and go forward. Come out and try it. Don't be shy. Look up where the next trial is, where a team is, get in contact and try it. You will, you will always regret it if you don't try something, if you really want to do it. And don't be ashamed if you are extra large. It doesn't matter. Seriously, it does not matter. We need you. Continue to be great. Work hard, off and on. Season, off season, on season, not season, just work hard. Keep going no matter what. Whatever someone says, girls not supposed to play football, yes you are, and you show them that you can. After I had twins, I gained a little bit of weight. Now I'm a former basketball player for Wake Forest University and I felt like, you know, I needed to lose a little bit more weight before I can get back on the court. So I decided to try football because I could throw my weight around in a good way. So that's how I got inspired to play football. But also once I got here, it was very addictive. It was like, I get to be amongst friends, family, I get to hit folk, I get to be hit, like it's, it's just a lot of fun. So, and, and I, I really wanna see how far it can go to see people that are just like me, that, you know, work a regular job, have regular families that can still be out here and really give forth the effort, effort for future generations, of course. I know that, you know, with my stature, I'm 6'6 six, six and like almost 300 pounds. I'm not easily kidnappable, but now that I play football, I feel like I can just, you know, just tackle anybody or what have you, and they'll probably run from me anyway. So I just, I really feel empowered and unstoppable and that I can truly do anything, because if you can play football, you practically can do it. Go, 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 work up field. So now we got to my name is Gabrielle Fleming and my position is linebacker or wherever the team needs me. I try to tell the story without telling a sad story. Um, my brother, my twin brother, was a uh, American football player in Germany before he passed away in 2019. Um, he talked about me joining the WFA. He was always um, playing sports, career football player. He played in college at Grammy State University. And after his death, I wanted to honor him simply by joining the league and continue with a legacy and the career that he didn't get to finish. Where are you? Playing football or just sports in general um, completely boosted my confidence. Um, I'm naturally introverted, if you can't tell. <laughs> and um, I think sports gave me a way to exercise and release stress um, in front of a big crowd without really noticing it. Um, that confidence came in leadership roles, actually um, being captains of teams and um, standing out and leading a group of athletes, um, it naturally developed my confidence. I think it's a, a huge thing. I mean, we, we need to we need to kind of broaden our horizons. Uh, we need to open the sport up for everybody, and I, and I think bringing women into it uh, is uh, obviously the next logical step. Um, and I think it uh, it will boost their uh, their character, their knowledge of the sport, and get more people involved all the way around. Growing up, I always watched football. My parents and my family were big fans of football. We are the Washington Commanders fans. 
Um, so I grew up and it was always a boys game and I figured females can play too. So when I was a little kid, I always used to play with the guys and I grew up and had the opportunity to play for the Bees. So now I'm here. something in me that wanted to do another sport and um, I, I used to watch football all the time and I always wonder do the do females really play football and one day I just looked it up do the females play football and the divas came up and it was actually a um, tryout like I think I looked it up in, in September and the trial was in October so I went to the first tryout and ever since that I've been here with the Divas. So I started in 2015, I got injured in 16 so I didn't play that season and I came back 2019 but COVID ended up canceling the season so uh, my first full year or first full season was actually 2020 and 2022 and this is my third year. Fully actually active. Wait, it goes out. Bring it in. Up and up in the fourth quarter. We're not tired. We can go another two hours. Can we? Yeah. Yeah. Out. One, two, three. Oh. All right. Good job, ladies. You have fun today. Yeah. Looking really good. I love this mental focus. All right. We can teach you to tackle, block, pitch footballs. We can do all that stuff. It starts with you guys and what you have within. So I really like what I'm seeing. It's uh, the best thing I've ever done in my life. It's the hardest, the most challenging, and the most rewarding, I think, in so many different ways, because you do see the difference it makes from having this experience in new people's lives, and people who have played 10 years, and people that don't play any longer, and the things that they take forward from this experience. So I've seen the joy of football, you know, and playing the sport. Uh, we've won championships, we've seen victory. But I think, again, the thing that's really inspired me the most is all the incredible things I've seen that have happened to the women and the men that have been involved in this off the field. All right, let's get out of this ring. Let's get in the ring. Breakdown. Ready, breakdown. Hot ah, World well, Mission. On round, let's go. Team is on me. Team is on three. Woo! 